this tutorial we're gonna discuss how to use this ad version 4.5 to create a new simulation experiment. In a previous tutorial we used one of the accessories which is the introductory simulation tool that can be used to produce simulations using any of the models. However, it can only run a simulation every time we run it. We can do much more using the whole DSAT package. To do that, we need to use the crop management data tool that appears in the menus of DSAT 4.5. Click the crop management data and we have here the XPIL utility. We go to File and click on New. We close this window and we have first this uh, form where for starters we're gonna define which model we're gonna be using. Let's consider that we're gonna run a simulation experiment on Barney. Okay, then we click on next and we select a cultivar. In this case, we're gonna get the default cultivar for Barney. In the next, we can get a data related to the field. We're gonna call this experiment UC for University of Cordoba, CO for Cordoba 87, which will, uh, which will be the year of the simulation and number one. Then for the weather station, we're going to use weather data of Cordoba, which is UCCO. Uh, here it is, UCCO. Uh, then for the soil, we're going to use one of the defaults. We're going to use a default medium sandy loam. We're going to use sandy loam for surface te texture, total depth of 100 centimeters, and let's say 5% uh, surface stones. Drainage type, we do not consider drainage. We click on next. And then we choose the planting date. Let's consider that we plant on November the 1st, 1987. We consider that emergence will be occurring one week after that, 11 uh, 8, 1987, for planting method. We use dry seed and the planting distribution is in rows. The row spacing for cereals we can take 20 cm and the plant population we're gonna start by using a very high high plant population. In the tutorial of today we're gonna create an experiment to test what is the effect of plant population on yield of barley. We're gonna consider that the number of plants after emergency is 400, that the rows are oriented in the north south direction, therefore, we write here zero, and a planting depth of 5 cm. We click OK. We have most of the information is already available. We go to management. We already uh, selected the, cult the cultivars, we selected the planting. Let's put some fertilizer at the start. Uh, here we, we see the typical, uh, the typical uh, configuration to include either irrigation or fertilizer data. We choose a fertilizer material, let's consider using urea. Uh, banded on the surface and we 
is at the depth of <coughs> sorry, one centimeter and a total amount of 100 kilos per hectare. We are not considering phosphorus or potassium or other elements. We click OK. Then, for management, we have applied fertilizer, we have the cultivars and the plant. Then, for treatments, uh, we will use this uh, form to add more treatments as long as soon as we have all data set. Let's go back to the planting. We have a first level with 400 plants per square meter. Then we can add more levels. Let's consider that we can put 200, 200 plants per square meter, 200 plants per square meter. Then we can add another one. Let's say 100. Over here, 100. Let's add another one. Let's say 50. Over here, we put 50 and 50. Okay. So we have def we have defined four levels for the planting uh, density. We could put a different number of levels for any of the main inputs to the model. Okay, in simulation options we add another important information. First, simulation start is the one appearing here and we can choose the model. For some of the crops in this at 4.5 we have different models available. Let's see, for barley, we have crop seed, seed is barley, is the one we're going to use. We have only one run and one replication. In options, we have different options. For this, we eliminate the option of symbiosis, as barley is not a leg crop. And then for methods, well, we have different possibilities at this moment. We, we are not going to change anything here. But for management, it's interesting that we could produce some features of automatic management. For instance, if we want to irrigate the crop any time a set of conditions is given, we could do that here. For instance, in irrigation and water management, we can irrigate or report the plates or use automatic when required. That's the one we're going to select. Let's consider a management depth of 100, uh, 100 centimeters. Using 50% of our available water as a threshold and trying to drain down the soil at the end. We're going to use sprinkler irrigation. Then we have for nitrogen, we could do on reported dates or not fertilize. We're not gonna put any organic am amendments on harvest. We could set some rules. We're not gonna uh, change this. In principle, if we don't specify anything else about harvest, harvest will occur at physiological maturity. In outputs, we could select a uh, which of the output files is going to be created. We can leave this as it is because uh, usually it will produce most of them. We click OK and then we go to treatments. First we had only one treatment, uh, one treatment available. We can add different treatments and here in planting we have different, uh, different possibilities. We can add here number 3 will be for 100, number 4 will be for 50. This we don't need it. Ok, 
okay so we have defined four different plantain density treatments for, for fertilizer remember that we had defined a fertilizing strategy applying 100 kilos of nitrogen at the start we're gonna apply all this same strategy for all of them here we have okay so we have defined cultivars for all is the same fill for all is the same planting density is different for the different uh, treatments and fertilizer is the same we click ok and here we have we have to use an experiment name usually uh, we use eight characters in this case would be UC, CO, for institutional location and then we would use the year 87 and then a number from 1 to 99 let's say that this is number 5, 0, 5 and this would be UC, CO, 1987 and that's it we, if we had observed information for this experiment, we would put this additional information in the part in the lower part of the of the form. As it is not the case, we don't need to do that. Once we are done, we go to file and we're gonna save as. In principle, depending on the crop on the model that we have selected the uh, any file that we save will go to specifically the uh, subdirectory below this at 45 in this case for back and here we would put ucco 87 0 excuse me 0 5 and the extension is PAX, which means for Barley and Experimental File. We click on Save, and that's it. We have already defined or defined everything that we need for that specific experiment.